Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie. Today we are gonna do another book shopping vlog. I'm in Ohio because that's where my girlfriend lives and we are going to go to a bunch of different independent bookstores around here. We might hit up Barnes & Noble, who knows, but we are gonna go look for books because it's rainy outside right now and what else is there to do on a rainy day than go book shopping? So that's what we're doing today. This is the little fit of the day. My hat is from Lids. It says my name on the side, it's so cute. And then this bodysuit is from Aritzia. I literally just tucked it into a skirt. My skirt is from Aloe. Shirt is Abercrombie. Shoes are Hoka's. But let's go to the bookstore and we'll see what we can find. So I thought I would do a little haul to finish off the bookstore vlog. First up is Court of Thorns and Roses. This one's really popular right now, but this is one of the ones my girlfriend got. Maybe I'll read it after her. I heard a lot about it, but I don't know if I'd be interested in this one. So we'll see, but it's an option. Then I got four of their books because it was buy one, get one 50% off for members. So I had to hop on that. Okay, first up I got 
the heart of the dead so this one's about a girl a single girl in new york city and she's trying to lock in a husband before she turns 30. She ends up meeting a guy and really likes him but his story is a complicated one and no amount of financial modeling can project what their future will look like so she has to decide if she's like ready to free herself from, from the idea of not having a husband at 30. the heart of the deal is a story of one woman's reckoning with what success really is in a city an industry in a relationship whose low lows continually challenge the enchantment of the high highs so this is what the cover looks like it's really cute and i just love anything based in new york city because it's one of my favorite places so i thought thought i would pick that one up the next one i got is delilah green doesn't care this is an lgbtq plus Book, which i really enjoyed but she basically goes back to her hometown to shoot a wedding i'm pretty sure like shoot her step sister's wedding yeah she sh she goes back to her hometown to shoot her stepsister's wedding and she ends up meeting this girl claire her name is delilah she ends up meeting this girl claire and it says claire isn't sure she has the strength to resist delilah's charms even where she's starting to think she doesn't want to so i think this is more of like a little love story lgbtq plus book which we love and i just thought it sounded really cute okay the next one i picked up is not a happy family i've really been getting into mystery thriller books so this is the one of the ones i picked up but again it's based in new york this one's in upstate new york brecken hill in upstate new york is an expensive place to live you have to be rich to have a house there and fred and sheila merton certainly are rich but even all their money can't protect them when a killer comes to call the mertons are brutally murdered that night after an easter dinner with their three adult kids who of course are devastated or are they they each stand to inherit millions they were never a happy family thanks to their vindictive father and neglectful mother but perhaps one of the siblings is more disturbed than anyone knew so they're trying to figure out if one of the siblings ended up killing the parents for the money so i thought it was a good little thriller mystery that i could read and then the last one is again another thriller mystery kind of kind of book and this one is called the wife before the cover super cool this one is about a girl who ends up meeting the love of her life he's a pro golfer and she ends up moving to colorado and into his mansion she's from miami but they end up having a relationship she discovers a journal that belonged to his late wife who died in a tragic accident but she comes to realize that it's not an accident at all and her trust starts to dwindle in her husband she's determined to uncover the truth of melanie's troubled last days but even good wives should know that the truth is not always what it seems i thought this was a little interesting book it kind of reminded me the finding the journals or like pages reminded me of verity by colleen hoover which i love that book so i thought this was kind of a similar vibe so i'm excited to see if this one is any good at all those were all the books we picked up today i hope you guys enjoyed this little bookstore vlog make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video